Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am in my kitchen for no reason other than I took my camera off the tripod and this was just a quick place to throw my stuff. Um, today I'm doing something different than what I've done. I was inspired by the Fat Five Meetup in Nashville. Uh, everybody blogging their experience and getting to meet other people with similar interests and so essentially I thought can I meet people locally here that are interested in fashion either youtubers or just in some other form or fashion are there people out there I could be collabing with or learn from or I don't know I don't know really what my goals are other than I just thought it would be cool to find some local folks and so all I had to do was basically Google fashion events in the area and I found a couple of events that were coming up real close and so I'm going to one of them today. So today at Macy's, I'm not, I think there's going to be like um, a Paul Mitchell guy there, there's going to be makeup artists there, they're going to do like maybe a little fashion show thing and then there's actually going to be a panel of bloggers that are talking about being fashion influencers, which is obviously something I'm interested in. And now I'm wishing I hadn't done this in the kitchen because I matched my cupboards. So maybe that was on purpose. Here I am with my cupboards. Anyways, sorry, got distracted there. So I'm very excited. I am nervous because it is another event that I'm going to by myself. I am an introvert and so I'm going to go and not have any friends, but it shall be interesting. Hopefully I will network, meet some people, and I plan on blog blogging the event. I did get permission to do that ahead of time. I've never vlogged before other than I think one shopping trip and that did not go great because I was embarrassed. So hopefully I'll be less embarrassed today and get some good footage and get to show you guys what they say about upcoming fall fashions and anything that's helpful about being a fashion influencer and things like that. So um, today I am wearing, um, I got this skirt from Trendset, this Aztec pattern skirt from Trendset. I really don't get to wear it enough because it's actually a little bit too short for me to com feel comfortable wearing it to work. But, um, and I just paired it with, I've got a Walmart mustard shirt and a black cardigan. Now I really debated on the black cardigan whether I go blazer or I have a black moto jacket and with my husband's help we just settled on a simple black cardigan focal point being the cool Aztec sh skirt, I almost call it a shirt. So yeah, hopefully today goes okay and hopefully I'll get you guys some good footage. All right, we'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, I am here. I have made it to the mall and about to go in so I don't know what to expect. Um, it's in the Macy store and I'm not sure if it's going to be completely obvious where this is or if I'm going to wander around aimlessly for a while. I know that the panel that's at 2 p.m., so it's about 1, the panel that's at 2 p.m., I at least kind of have a ticket for that, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, let's just go in. I always think of cheetah, leopard, but this is giraffe print, okay? And this is from INC. It's a very lovely dress. So this is also comes in a top and a skirt, but this is the one piece long dress. Precious, rocking the Michael Kors. What do you love about it, Sierra? Oh my goodness. Well, first of all, she's wearing sparkle, which is everything to me. <laughs> <laughs> everything to me. I love the print mixing here. Don't you guys think she looks so great mixing yeah. prints? Yeah, that's so on trend right now. Um, you know, I think there's something to be said about feeling sexy but not showing a lot of skin. I mean, Precious is rocking her curves in a long sleeve top and a pencil skirt. It's hugging her curves all in the right places. So, Melissa is our next model. So, this oh, is a shoes. fantastic dress. Keep wait, did you hear that? Yeah. Ooh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We show you things that aren't always super revealing. You can push the sleeves up, you can show a little cleavage, but you know, you still gotta look like a lady most of the days and like have yourself pulled together. And this is like fun, sexy lady. This isn't like stodgy grandma, okay? So, and I this is our next model. So, like we said, your animal print doesn't always have to be cheetah, leopard, it can also be snake. And this is a great interpretation of snake because it's kind of like 
a tie-dye ombre effect with all natural hues, okay? So it's not necessarily just black or white. And this is great because we belted this yes. and used a belt that's already a color within the shirt. So you it doesn't always have to be black with black with black, but first, okay. Not like a super tall over the knee boot, but it's just like, just a little taller than a boot, okay? So it's like a three quarter height boot. So I just really love it. And the earrings are great too. And the bag matches the earrings, right? Like it's a good token. way to get matchy matchy. In the winter time in the fall, you're gonna be on the go and you just need to sometimes look really cute on the weekend. I love leggings just as much as anybody else. But sometimes you just need to do something really simple where you're out running errands, you're just in the city, in and out. But for those of you, this sweater dress is long sleeve. Here, I'll hold this. And it's from Me KY. Another way to interpret green, again, like we said, you don't have to have it all over your body. It can just be all about the feet. And these uh, Dior Safe Pumps are from INC, so it's green snake skin. What do you think? I mean, just a pop of color on the heel is all you need sometimes, right? <laughs> so another great example of green. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. 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 Yeah, so Calvin Klein jumpsuit. Again, this is like a super, like, like guys, you've had it so easy. All the men here that reluctantly are here. Uh, <laughs> All the men that are reluctantly here right now, uh, you've had it easy. So you guys could just throw on a suit. Fortunately, now designers are just hearing the cry of women of, we need a suit too, but that's not also always a suit. I love, I, I'm in love with this jacket, this INC jacket. Okay, Sierra. Because I, I get up here and I start rambling and then I'm like, just because I'm so excited about everything. I love this hat with this jacket. Uh, I, I just think berets are everything during the fall. Do you guys like berets? Yes. yes, yes. So loving the hat, loving the blazer, great way to wear green. Obviously the blazer is great for the office, but it's also great for girls night out. She could easily wear a t-shirt and a pair of dark denim and boots. Not green with envy, green with look. See, Ooh, look at the walk though. Look at the walk though. The walk is hurting y'all, okay. Um, <laughs> So this dress is from Calvin Klein. This is like a burnout velvet, obviously, like my dress. I love burnout velvet, okay? So this is another interpretation of how to wear animal prints. And then also the shoes are brown snakeskin. Hey, back in the 70s, I just got checked, okay? Back in the 70s. Yeah. from bar three. So it's a slip dress and it comes with a little plaid overlay. So it's all one piece. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren shirt. Ralph Lauren sweater. Ralph Lauren pants. I just love it all. Okay, what do you love? It's classic, but it's also eclectic, right? Yeah. Like, I'm loving the mixing and matching of the plaid. I love the bag. What do you guys think about the bag? The bag is from Ramen. I feel like that is a staple bag for fall. It is. It really is. All right. Melissa in class. So, this is like the full plaid. Like, I love this. Okay, because I grew up as a kid that I was like, my mom stopped dressing me probably when I was about, she said I was about five. And she just let me go because she said I was tired of arguing because I wanted to match. I wanted the jacket with the pants with the blah, blah, blah. So this is Ralph Lauren here with another plaid interpretation. Yes, jacket. So, okay. Yes, I'm jacket. Yeah, okay. I'll go. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I get so excited about all of this. Okay. Oh, this jacket. So I love the studs on this jacket. It gives it a very punk feel. Morgan. Are you love these pants? I know. I know. These pants are great. So the pants are from Free People. The top is from Free People. The jacket's from uh, Levi's. And the shoes are from Coach. So remember earlier we had the Coach bag, but there's some other great options too that you can choose from. 
this is like, this top is from free people. And what I'm saying is that sometimes in the winter and the fall, you kind of feel like your wardrobe may die like around February because it's just so cold and everything. These are great. And again, the animal print is there. And this is just like a fun top. This is a thermal top. Okay, guys, that was awesome. Love, love the fashion show. Can't wait to talk with you guys about some of my favorite pieces that I saw. That was a lot of fun. Now we are headed to the influencer panel where they're going to talk about their blogs and things like that. Maybe I can pick up some tips as a small YouTuber. So, all right, I'll give you guys some clips of that. Hello everyone, my name is Starla and I am the creative lady behind the lifestyle blog StarlaKMathis.com. Um, in my spare time, I also run a creative business where I specialize in photography, videography, and website, as well as social media content. Um, you can find me at Starla K Mathis, K A Y Mathis on all handles. All right, hello everyone. I am Sarah. I am the creative behind Indie Dressed. And so that's I-N-D-Y-D-R-E-S-S-E-D. -E -E um, a lot of it is about fashion, but also about lifestyle because it's more than just how you dress yourself, it's how you dress your life. So you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at Indie Dressed, and then at IndieDressed.com. Hi everyone, my name is Leslie Bailey. Um, I am launching a new digital lifestyle platform for women called Indie Maven in, in early October. So that's Indie, I-N-D-Y, Maven, across everything. I'm personally Leslina. I used to blog like 10 years ago. I don't anymore because I'm doing this instead. So kind of two names there. Hello everybody, my name is Valerie. I am the creative behind uh, Zuri Blog. So my handle is Zuri. Z-U-R-R-I underscore blog. Um, and that is mostly fashion and beauty. And I also run my uh, boutique page, which is Zuri Boutique. Uh, ever since I was a little girl, my mother could not keep me out of dresses, right? And then I had a little tomboy stage where you couldn't find anything for like a plus size girl that looked good. But now plus size, plus size styling has changed and evolved, where now I can like dress my body in confidence, and so now I want to share that more with plus size women, that you can dress cute, you can wear the latest fashions, and you can be the bottom. So similarly, I've also had a passion for fashion since I was younger. Um, some of you who have followed me before have seen my mom with me at some fashion events. Unfortunately, she couldn't come today because of conflicting schedules, but she looks like me except 5'10". So, <laughs> and we can't share clothes because she's so tall. Um, I'm only five foot three, um, but uh, you know she really instilled that idea of personal style in me. Um, and then when I was in my early to mid twenties, I did some local modeling here around the Indianapolis area. And through that, I got to meet a lot of really amazing local designers, local artists people who are part of this big fashion industry. And at the time, when I started my blog about six years ago, a lot of that was hidden. It's grown so much in the last six years. Um, and so that's why I really started my blog, to showcase the amazing talent that we have here in Indianapolis. Um, my thing is storytelling. So I fell in love with fashion through magazines. I just love, love, love looking at magazines of all kinds, shelter, cooking, home, but fashion in particular when I was growing up. And then um, when I started working at the Minneapolis Star, they didn't really have any fashion coverage. And they were like, yeah, that's kind of something we did in the 60s. And I was like, well, that's kind of something I think I'm going to do now. So, see, yeah, I like that. And um, it did really well, to their surprise. Um, so I didn't really do a lot of my own fashion blogging, but um, I was lifestyle editor at Indianapolis Monthly, so I've always just had my hands more on the style element, but obviously that includes fashion. Well, just like everyone else, I've always had a love for fashion, especially since I was younger. Um, I never pursued it, though, until I got older. Um, I started blogging, I would say, late winter of last year, um, and then I just turned it into a business um, and just been doing it um, ever since. Mostly my focus was like on what to wear, especially around holidays, especially for more fuller figure and curvy women, because um, I was seeing a lack of that. Um, and then I just dove into beauty as well. 
would say a business account. My, um, actually when I first started blogging, I wasn't sure if I wanted to create a separate account for my personal one. So then I said, you know what, it's all about me and my life and my lifestyle, so it's all encompassing me. So I just kept my personal as my blog platform, which then is a business through Facebook. So I have to echo the business profile on Instagram, mostly because if you choose one of those other profile types on Instagram, you get a lot of back-end data. So you have an idea of who your followers are, what are the things that they like. So from a business perspective, you get to know your audiences really well, and then you can tailor your content to those audiences a lot better. So I make sure that whatever I'm posting not only is true to my sense of style and what I want to share, but also is something that I know people will like better. engage with them on their pages or other people who um, also have the same what you're trying to do what you're trying to reach as far as if it's fashion if it's beauty um, you stick to that and you engage with those people and they come to you I think it's just finding something that people want because and, and then finding a way to stand out from everybody else because there are so many influencers now and there's so many bloggers and it's so saturated um, so you kind of have to weed out and find the really quality people that are actually being authentic um, and not just in it to try and make money off of you and everybody else. I think the first time I ever got paid was to host a New Year's Eve party. Their cha-cha used to be a, like a search engine thing and they used to do New Year's Eve parties downtown and I think the first thing I ever got like paid to promote and have an appearance and write about and blog about was that New Year's Eve party. So one of the things that I will say is if you are interested in having partnerships and sponsorships to be patient, a lot of times you have to prove consistency in order to get there. So that is a prelude to the fact that it took me probably about three years before I got a good sponsorship. Um, and some of them they pay in actual money, sometimes they pay in goods or services or that type of thing. Um, and so my first one was working with Carousel Bags, which is kind of like Rent the Runway, but with purses. And it was started by a female entrepreneur here in Indianapolis. And so she was looking for what are called micro-influencers. So with a local market, they find a lot of really good success with people who maybe don't have like tens of hundreds of thousands of followers. They're looking for people who are really connected to the community. And so because I had a lot of really engaged followers, even though my number wasn't, you know, 20,000, that was something that they were looking for and so they reached out to me. So that's another thing to keep in mind if you're looking into blogging and turning influencing into a career. So for me, I've had unpaid ambassadorships as well as paid. Um, and But my first sponsorship that was paid was from Zabbox. It was a curated box of um, black women-owned businesses and like natural beauty products. It was amazing. The box was beautiful. Looked them up. <laughs> um, but that was the first paid when they reached out to me. And I was like, how did you find me? Because it was like my first year of blogging. like okay I gotta really live my goals out and so if I'm gonna do this I want to do this so I started recording YouTube videos and then I'm like oh you know what I miss taking pictures so then I had my blog post I think 2015 but probably was that so you see there's a lot of time there <laughs> I'm thinking it through um but then I mostly family members I'm a lot of people you see here today my mother my besties they were all definitely supporting it my husband reposted it and then I think after that you start building this community of people are like we're in this together you know so then we just started kind of that's kind of how my kickoff started so for me, the blog came first, pre-social media. So um, I started blogging when I was 12 to 14 and had my own little website. And my parents were like, whatever, it keeps her out of trouble, we'll let her do this. Um, and so my blog has had various iterations. There's like six different ones. I would just like buy up domain names. I was like, oh, this is $6 for this domain name. Maybe I'll use it. Um, so I've always been writing and always been blogging. And it was only until about six years ago that I became the fashion aspect. Um, but similarly to what so I was saying, um, you really start with who you know already, your current network, your peeps who are really supporting you and they really want to see you succeed as well. So, I mean, my husband shares my posts. Whenever I post something new, he shares it with some of his coworkers. You know, and it's like, okay, that's cool. I 
don't know these people, but I'm glad they're reading my blog. Um, so, you know, you always have to start somewhere, but if you start with that really enthusiastic, engaged audience of your friends and family, even if they don't read it and they're just sharing it with other people, that's totally fine too. I didn't know what a blog was when somebody asked me to start my blog. And I was like, what? What is this? It was like 12 years ago and those were, they just weren't really things. And somebody said, oh, it'd be really fun if you started documenting this. I do not have a journalism background. Um, so now I'm editor in three different places without actually having a journalism degree like other accomplished people here. I actually have, was a communications major. Um, but somebody was like, oh, you do fun things. You should write about that. And then it took me another year to realize somebody would actually pay me to do that. So I started writing for free. And then one day someone was like, you know, you can like, get money for that. Like, You're kidding me. <laughs> and then fast forward, here I am. So I, it, it was, I, I don't feel like it was my idea. I feel like it was that, that person's idea. But then it clicked because once I started doing it, I was like, oh, I had always liked writing and that was just a natural fit and I think that because I was enjoying doing it that's why it took off and got traction. It happened pretty fast. Um, so like I said back in late uh, winter is when I started blogging and I really started because people always asked me to help them find an outfit. And I'm just like well let me just do a what to wear um, blog and I started that and then I was like I want to create my own website and get off of WordPress. So then I just created my own website and turned it into a boutique. So that's, it was really fast. <laughs> okay, guys. That was awesome. I met all the ladies afterwards to introduce myself, which is absolutely terrifying. Um, I could have stayed in shock, but this this is what I decided to do afterwards. Um, Mall bourbon chicken. I just good. So, um, so I'll be checking in with you guys soon to get kind of final thoughts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage put together. Uh, quick final thoughts. The fashion show was so much fun. So in case you didn't pick up on what they were highlighting in the fashion show, it was the three fall trends of animal print and green and plaid. So I loved the tone of green that they displayed. I mean, green's my favorite color in the first place. So yay for that being on trend. And then I loved the tone of the green. That green jumpsuit, I just absolutely love that. It was just gorgeous. Animal print, I've never been a huge animal print person, but apparently I need to get on board because literally everybody there was in animal print and I apparently need to step into this trend. So I need to find some muted animal print, something that I will like throughout the years, even if it's not as much in style, you know, in a few years. So that's interesting and I did not know that plaids were in or were going to be in so they highlighted some cool ways to wear that pattern so really enjoyed that loved the panel of the bloggers and hearing their story I met them all afterwards and they're all just very very wonderful women hopefully I can sometime do a collab with one or all of them or something like that to do a video with them because I think that would be awesome and it was just great hearing about their journey and how they got to where they are and I am going to find all their information and put it below so you guys can check them out for yourselves and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I actually have another event in a few days that I am going to and I think kind of a, a similar thing with like a fashion show and who knows what else so hopefully you guys like this video because I'm gonna do it again so thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you are not subscribed, then please subscribe below. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video. All right, thanks. Bye.